If you're looking to customize your WordPress site, but don't wanna to have to deal with any coding at all, this is the exact video you're looking for because today we're gonna to talk about how to customize your WordPress site super quickly, very easy, and without any coding. Let's jump in. Now, the first important customization decision you'll need to make with any WordPress site is choosing the right theme that'll work with your needs. When you're looking at a great theme to customize, there's a lot of reasons Divi should be at the top of your list. It is widely regarded as one of the most customizable WordPress themes available. There are some key features that make it highly customizable, such as its visual drag and drop page builder for creating custom layouts and designs without any code. Also, there's over a thousand pre-made layout packs and more than 100 full website packs to import and customize. With Divi, you have the ability to visually customize every aspect and design, such as colors, typography, spacing, animations, and so much more. Another great choice is Astra. Astra is a popular customizable theme known for its performance and flexibility. It has highly customizable options for layouts, designs, colors, typography, and more, which you can use right inside the WordPress customizer. It's lightweight and fast loading using minimal resources and works seamlessly with popular page builders like Elementor, Beaver Builder, and more. And finally, another great recommendation is Generate Press. Generate Press is a lightweight performance focused theme with extensive customization capabilities. This theme also integrates with page builders like Beaver Builder and Elementor, and it's super fast loading with minimal bloat and clean code. Plus it offers premium add-ons like elements, blog, e-commerce, and so much more, which let you really unlock some customization options. Now, after you have your theme decided, there's a lot of plugins you can use as well to help you customize your site. I have a long list of awesome ones you can check out. And if you wanna see all of them, go down into the video description below. They're gonna leave a blog article you can check out. It's gonna go more into depth, show you some awesome plugins you can use and help you on your journey of customizing your WordPress site. So now let's talk about customizing your page structure and your site. So having a well-structured page hierarchy really improves your navigation and SEO for your WordPress site. So to start, we wanna go over here to where it says pages. And here we can create all our new pages based on our site's needs. So to do that, we can see all our pages we already have created, or we can add a new page right here. So we can check out on my site here, I have a lot of pages. This is a test environment, so I have a lot of no title pages here, but you'll see all the pages that you already have created when you look at this for yourself. But one thing you wanna take note of is this quick edit button. If you click this, it's gonna bring you a lot of options here that you can quickly change and edit your page with. Something else you can do here is you can nest your child pages under parent pages, which will help you create a logical URL structure. And you can see that when you click the parent dropdown box, you can see all of your pages that you can use here. Another thing you can do with your pages is you can customize your page URL slugs using your permalink settings. If you go to settings here, you can go down to where it says permalinks and click that. And this will bring you your permalink settings and all of your permalink structure. This is important because having a clean and logical page structure is an underrated way to customize your WordPress website and super important. Now, the next thing we wanna look into is menus. To go to our menu options, we can go over to where it says appearance. And then here we can just go down to menus. WordPress menus control the navigation links that appear on your site, such as in your header, your footer, and your sidebar. And this is where you can customize all of that. Now, when you create this, you'll wanna give your menu a name here so you know what you're talking about. And then on your first menu, it's often gonna be your primary menu. And then you can just save that here when you're creating this. Then you have the option to just add whatever pages you want to your menu itself. So if I wanted to add my checkout, my account, the cart and the shop, we can do that. And then we can add it to our menu. You can see that it'll automatically populate it over into our menu here. And then we can start moving it around how we want. To do that is extremely simple and you can just drag and drop to move them around. And if you want, you can even create sub menus by dragging, selecting, and moving it under the menu you want it to become a part of a sub item. While this might not be the most exciting part of creating a website, it's still very important. Having easy to use menus really help visitors and web crawlers explore your site and find the most helpful information possible. So once you have all your page structure set up and your menus, the next thing you wanna look into is customizing the pages themselves. First, I'm gonna show you how you can do this using WordPress's customizer. Now the WordPress customizer does offer a user-friendly interface, which lets you make site-wide changes super easily. And to get there, we just go where it says appearance here on the left and we'll go to customize. From here, you can customize site-wide changes super easy. This lets you change things like your site identity, including your colors, typography, header and footer settings, and so much more. And you can easily navigate this just clicking on what you wanna to go to. So we can start with our general settings, we can change our typography, and here's where you can change things like your body text size, header letter spacing, and so much more. Even things like your default theme font, font weight, and your colors as well. The customizer is very powerful, and it's a really quick way to make your top level site changes super easy. So you can see if you click around here, there's just a lot of changes you have to make, including things like color schemes where you can change these really fast. 
Then when you're happy with your changes, you can click publish. And to go back, you can always click the little X up here to go back to your WordPress dashboard. So now let's talk about customizing each page individually. And there's a couple ways you can do this. One is using the block editor, which is built into WordPress natively. Or if you're using a theme that has its own editor, such as Divi with the visual editor, you can use those to customize the pages. I'll show you how to do each of those. Now, customizing pages using the block editor is also pretty intuitive and easy to do. So let's go to our pages here and let, we'll add a new page real quick. So when you're in here using the block editor, it's pretty easy to use. If you ever want to add a new block up here in the top left, there's a block inserter. If you click this, this will show you all of the different blocks that you have to use. These are things such as paragraph, heading, and a lot of different text blocks. You have media blocks such as an image, a gallery, audio, video, and more. You have some design blocks here you can use, such as adding a grid, spacers, rows. Then you have a bunch of widgets as well. You can add things like an RSS feed, custom HTML, some short code, and then you even have theme blocks as well. Now, when you wanna customize a block, each block is gonna have its own settings. So for instance, I'll add a paragraph block, it'll insert it in for us, and we can start customizing these settings here. So you can see we have our paragraph block selected. You can see this by going over to the right here, there's some information about the block, and it'll give us whatever options we have to change. So for this one, we have some advanced options we can turn on. We have text size itself, so small, medium, large, and let's type some stuff out so we can see it. So here we can make this either medium text, large text, extra large text. You can have more typography tools like the letter spacing, appearance, and more. And then we also have some color options for this specific block op as well. So we could change things like the text color. So if we wanted to change this, we could do that really easily. And same with the background color as well for the block. So if we wanted to, we can change this to look however we want it to. Every block is gonna have its own settings. So if we wanted to add a image block, for instance, we can click this, it'll add our media block. And then we can see the settings for this are gonna be a little different. We have some settings up here we can change, such as its alignment, some filters and different options we have as well. And then we have more settings over here, such as the aspect ratio, the width, the height, different styles, etc. Every block is gonna be completely different. And you can see that this is an easy way to customize your page using the block editor. Now, if you are using a theme like Divi, you have the option to use Divi's Visual Builder to customize your pages, which has a lot more customization options than just using the block editor. So to demonstrate that, we're gonna add a new page like we did previously. And when Divi's installed, you'll have the option to use the Divi Builder right here. So we'll give our page a title. And then when we're ready, we'll use the Divi Builder here. Something super powerful and awesome about Divi is when you're creating a new page, you have the option to either build it from scratch, choose a pre-made layout already, or you can even build a template using AI. I'm gonna get more into depth on this in a little bit. So for now, let's just go ahead and choose a pre-made layout, which gives us a good starting point for our page. So I'll click browse layouts, and you can see there are thousands of layouts that you can choose from already. You can even add more as well. But for here, I'm just gonna search for a layout that makes sense for our page. I'll just do a quick search for marketing because we're making a marketing page. And then we can check out some of these layouts that we want to look into. So let's say I like the look of this one right here. We can click it and it'll show us all of the different layouts in this pack that we can quickly go through. So this one has a contact page, a blog, project portfolio, and so forth. So let's check out this landing page that we have. And for this, I'm going to use this layout so we can customize it for our own page. So here you can see we're in Divi's Visual Builder where we can start customizing our page. And doing this within Divi is extremely easy. Any modules you see can be completely customized however you want. So for instance, if we wanted to customize this, all we need to do is select the module and go to the module settings here. And this will bring up a lot of customization options we have. We have all the basic ones you could think of for a text block here, like changing all of your text settings. But what's really awesome about this is we have all of these design settings as well. So for here, we can go to the design settings and we can change anything we want, anything from your text settings like your font, font weight, font style, color, size, and so much more. And then everything from your sizing, spacing, border, box shadows, filters, and a lot. As you can see already, this is super powerful and lets you customize your site to look exactly how you want. And every single module has this level of customization. So for instance, if we wanted to change this button, we can open up the module settings for this button. And same thing, we have a ton of different options for our button size, we can change the text, we can change the color, we can change the border radiuses, and you can see there is so many ways we can customize every module on our page. When you like your settings, you can go ahead and accept the changes, or you can decline them if you wanna discard those and start over. So let's accept these. And then what else is super powerful is like we had blocks with the block editor, there are so many modules you can add in to make the page look exactly how you want. 
So if I wanted to add a new row down here, what we could do is we'll add a new section. We can decide if it's gonna be a regular, full width or specialty section. I'll just go ahead and add a regular section here. We can add a new row, and then you can see all of the different modules we have. And you can start typing in one that makes sense if you know what you want. So let's say we wanna have an image here. We can add an image in, and then we have all of the module settings that we can think of for our image. Now, since we're here, something else that's super awesome with Divi is we can use the power of Divi AI to help us with our page as well. So let's say we don't have the exact image that we wanna use here, but we have an idea of what we want. We can go over here to the left where it says AI and click this to bring up all of our Divi AI settings. So we'll generate this with AI, and now we can kind of just start typing in what we want it to be. We can do this with any images, or copy on our page. So for our image, we can just choose an image style. Let's say we wanna add in a drawing and then we can just type in what we want it to be. So for instance, we could say we wanna do a computer at a desk. We have options to change the aspect ratio and the size. So if I want a landscape or if I have a specific size, I can do that. And then we'll just generate the image. So you can cr see it's created us a few images we can use. Once you're here, you can either select one if you like it and you can use this image. You can have it generate more like this one. So let's say this image is close, but we want it to be, have a different few options. We could go ahead and generate more like this one. And when you do that, you can even change the photo style as well. So if instead of a drawing, I wanted a portrait or watercolor, I could do that down here. Or if you want, you can generate a whole new prompt altogether. Then once you're happy with your image, you can go ahead and click it and hit use this image and it'll automatically put it into your site for you. You can do this with images and all of your text on your page as well. So I'll we'll go ahead and save this change. And let's say that I wanna change this heading here, but I'm not quite sure exactly what I wanna say. Let's open up the module settings here and we'll go ahead and write this using the Divi AI options and we'll write with AI. So we just need to tell it what we want. So let's go ahead and make a title and we'll say a catchy title about the power of marketing. And then we'll go ahead and generate that. And similar with the images, if you have one you like, you can hit use this, or you can go ahead, retry, and it'll do another one for you. So once we're happy, we'll use this text, and you can see it's automatically put it into our page for us. And then just like before, when you're happy, you can save the changes. You can see using the power of Divi and Divi AI, you can really create the exact page that you want and customize it to your heart's content. So I alluded to it earlier, but something awesome you can use Divi AI for is creating full layouts and customize the page themselves using Divi AI. So now let's go ahead and use the power of Divi AI to create a full layout for us using Divi Layout AI. So let's go ahead and add a new page again. We'll use the Divi Builder. And then here where we have Build From Scratch, Choose a Pre-Made Layout, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build our entire layout using Divi AI. So we'll go ahead and hit Generate Layout. And then all we need to do is describe the page that we want it to create. So we'll have it create a homepage for a marketing company. And then we just need to tell it a little bit about our website. This is optional, but the more information you can give it, the better it's gonna be able to create the page for what you want. So you can say whatever you want. So we're gonna make this fictional company called Awesome Marketing. And we'll say we specialize in brand marketing and social media. You can tell it as little or as much as you want here. And then you can go to customize your fonts and colors. So you can either let Divi AI decide which colors to use, same with your fonts, or if you have specific ones in mind you wanna use, you can do that as well. So let's say you have a specific primary color you wanna use, you can click this, hit custom, and then you can customize whatever colors you wanna use. But for this demonstration, I'm just gonna let Divi AI go wild and choose all the colors and fonts for us. When you're ready, just click generate layout. It'll take a couple of minutes and then it'll generate a layout so then we can start customizing our page. So now we can see it has created a layout for us to use. Remember, this is just a starting point where we can customize it further, but this is just somewhere where we can start. So of course we wanna go in here and make sure we change all our images and text to make sure it aligns with our brand and what we want it to be, but this gives you an awesome starting place. So we can see that it gave us a section where we can put information about who we are, what we do, some testimonials, recent work we've done, and so on and so forth. Also, if you like to, if you like the way this is looking too, you can go up here and you can save the different fonts and colors you used that you can use for future AI layouts. So you can go ahead and hit do that, or if you don't, you can hit no thanks. And what's awesome is since it's so quick and easy, if this isn't quite what you're looking for, you can just generate more layouts using Divi AI as much as you want. Now that is just the start of your customization journey. If you wanna go more in depth and want some more tips, including some awesome child pages and themes you can use, check out the blog article that's down in the video description below. Again, it goes more in depth, has a lot more tips for you, and is an awesome read if you're looking to customize your site to its full potential. Thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Before you go though, make sure you check out some of our other content and I'll see you in the next one.